Hi, I'm Beth Waite Lefevre, speech language pathologist and assistive technology specialist at CRG. I want to talk to you for a minute about social language disorders. At CRG, I work with children, adolescents, and adults who are very capable, but because of a social language deficit, have difficulty maintaining relationships, working in school, and sometimes even keeping their job. According to the American Speech and Hearing Association, a social language disorder has three characteristics. The first one is having difficulty knowing how to use language to meet different needs. Knowing how to use words for greetings, commenting, requesting, asking, and answering questions. The second characteristic is knowing how to change your language based on who your listener is. We certainly use different words when talking to a baby than we do an adult. And we speak very differently to a parent, a teacher, a boss, or a police officer than we do to our best friend, our coworker, or our siblings. And the third characteristic of a social language disorder is having difficulty making conversations. In order to have a conversation, we have to be able to initiate and maintain a topic. We need to stay on topic. We have to take turns. We need to know how much or how little to speak. And we have to be able to recognize and use body language and facial expressions to support our message or to understand somebody else's message. Does this sound like somebody you know? If it does, you may want to consider coming to CRG and having a social language evaluation. In this type of evaluation, we use standardized test, clinical observation, an interview with the individual and the family in order to determine if there is a speech language disorder. If there is a social language disorder, the good news is at CRG, we're here to help. We have three different options to help you with your social language needs. The first one is individual language therapy. Using video modeling, role-playing activities, and hands-on activities, I can help you increase your conversation and interaction skills. Another option is to participate in one of our several social skills groups. These groups are run by skilled professionals and they're run for different age groups. A nice thing about working in a group is that you get to learn and practice your skills under the guidance of a skilled specialist. And it's a great place to make new friends. Our last option is a great new program that we are rolling out right now in the fall of 2015. And it's called Gap Year. Are you a recent high school graduate and you're not sure where life is taking you? You might want to take a gap year. This program, run by two clinical psychologists and our post-secondary specialist, helps you identify what your next step is. Working together with you, we help you look at your interest, your um, skill level, where you want to go, and what you need to get there. This includes a social skills group, an individual counseling, and life coaching. If you'd like to call for an appointment to schedule a service for any of the things I've talked about today, please call our intake coordinator at 317-575-9111. To check out our providers and other services offered at CRG, visit our website, www.childrensresourcegroup.com. And next month, I'll be coming to you with information about our technology services. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.